Clare start this match with two of their under-21 winning squad of two years ago still in their ranks. Pat O'Connor is at right half back, while Conor McGrath is the captain and he's the full forward. Eight of the current panel have played senior championship, including Shiona Mori, who's number seven, and wing forward Tony Kelly. Kilkenny also have their senior stars, chief among them Richie Doyle at centre-half and number 12 Killian Buckley. Full-back Willie Phelan and corner forward Walter Welch are also part of Brian Cody's squad with an eye no doubt on the All-Ireland Senior Hurling Final replay in a fortnight's time. <laughs> Referee Dermot Kerwin gets the match underway. It's Kilkenny who uh, won the toss and they've opted to play from right to left in the first half and straight away it's out here as far as their captain Kevin Kelly. How about that? A score after 10 seconds. Really good start to this All-Ireland Under-21 final. Light breeze behind Clare for the opening 30 minutes of this match. Swiftly in there as far as McInerney. That's Carl McInerney and what a very good response that is. So inside the opening 45 seconds, teams level, point apiece. And both points coming from play. Dylan Walsh. Pucking it out for Kilkenny, landing on the... Clare 65 metre line here's uh, Richie Doyle expected to exert a big influence Joe Ling also one of the half backs up here towards Walter Welch big tall man but he's beaten for this one by David McInerney and the taller man full back for Clare gets it out here out as far as Shane Golden big huge one down towards the inside forwards and plenty of dangerous forwards that we know about and one of them here is the corner forward, Cahill O'Connell. And O'Connell, with uh, his first shot, puts it over the bar. And Clare take the lead for the first time. Looking to try and retain the possession here. A little bit ambitious, but it might work out yet for Clare because Shane Golden's got it again. Slips it across towards Shane Amori. His dad, Pat, was a great Clare star in the past. And Shane Amori gets another one for Clare. His first point of this match. And now it's three points to one. And a wonderful start made by Clare here. This time pressure being exerted. They respond very positively. And back there goes Killian Ryan from Rouen. Stopped this time in the middle of the field by Jeff Brennan. And now he picks out Porrick Walsh, brother of Tommy, and his first shot. And he's put it over the bar. And there's a response. But it's a great opening to this under-21 final. Clare leading by three points to two. Kilkenny. Expecting a big test here, and their manager Richie Mulrooney. In as far as Conor McGrath stands his ground here, steadies himself, hands passes it into Cahal O'Connell. There's a goal here, and he's got it. Goal and a point now for Cahal O'Connell and Clare. No wonder the fans are celebrating. A goal in the seventh minute, and the uh, Kilkenny defence was absolutely opened out completely here. Conor McGrath playing it into O'Connell and O'Connell when he got that hand pass had one thing on his mind to beat the goalkeeper which he did with some ease and again it's Clare who take it firmly and they're giving Kilkenny absolutely nothing in attack back there was Aaron Cunningham batted out this time by Willie Phelan taken back once again here and that's a useful looking shot and that one's gone over the bar and it's Colm Galvin from midfield first point for Colm Galvin again the centre half back comes for this one breaks it down but this time it's Jeff Brennan who was anticipating but pushed off and again Clare comes storming forward it's Pat O'Connor this time and he fancies it and he puts it over the bar Pat O'Connor son of Pat Senior and nephew of Enda from uh, wonderful Clare teams back in the 1970s Kilkenny coming back here now with Walter Welch part of the senior squad out near the sideline very tricky angle and that's a wonderful point by a man who must be in the mind I'm sure of Brian Cody as he plans for a fortnight's time and that replay good score huge one all the way down picked up this time by Cahal McInerney looking for a second point and this one is just inside the right-hand post, and it's over the bar. Inside towards John Power, trying to break it out to himself here. Follows it, slips it back to Jeff Brennan. And from uh, 40 metres out, he's put it over the bar. Good score by Jeff Brennan. 
the uh, UL student plays for St. Patrick's Clare again going forward they've already hit five wides in this match and that's uh, a poor final ball straight to Willie Phelan over towards Walter Welch he could have the beating of his man here big strong fellow is still going forward great stop by the goalkeeper but it's gone up and over the bar but the credit will go to Walter Welch that time there's a goal between the teams it's one six to six points but it could have been worse from Clare's point of view but for goalkeeper Ronan Taff and Kevin Kelly floats this one beautifully in he's the youngest player playing in this uh, final only 18 years of age won't be 19 until next month caught superbly there by Richie Doyle Richie Doyle trying to escape the clutches of Podge Collins and the referee says to Podge you were fouling him four minutes to the break Kilkenny looking for another score dropping in there towards power and John power and the referee says it's a penalty and uh, the referee says the backs were holding him back which indeed they look to be and it's going to be John power himself who will take it and a chance of leveling up this game well there was an important penalty last week in the senior final this time the Kilkenny man goes for a goal and gets it from the penalty spot John power blasts what is his seventh goal of this year's under 21 championship back on level terms at this stage and although Kid Kelly are not playing well they're still a major threat two men in the inside forward line and one of them is Aylward and he's ever so dangerous Jerry Aylward in stoppage time it's only the second time in the game that he's had a touch in this match and he's got an all-important goal Carl O'Connell this time holds on plays it back here towards Aaron Cunningham and fumbles with it indications of nervousness the players playing under lights of course as well which in an under 21 final is something of a new experience Cor that's a very good effort by Aaron Cunningham and he's put it over the bar his first point of this match down towards John Power breaks to the middle of the field where Jeff Brennan couldn't take it but Claire have and Carl O'Connell again impishly gathers it forward and tries to steer it over the bar and succeeds brilliantly and the pressure back on the Clare backs again it's the very dangerous Ger Aylward from 45 meters out he strikes it superbly and puts it over the bar and he's now the scorer of a goal and a point for Kilkenny and that's Kilkenny's first point in the second half that puck out comes back into the center here again where Tony Kelly has his attempted clearance partly blocked but he's still got enough purchase on it to get it forward as far as Carl McInerney coming in here 13 meters out shortens the grip on the stick hits it off his left hand side and strikes it beautifully over and that's a third point now for Carl McInerney from Cratlow Dylan Walsh pucking it out towards Walter Walsh big man breaks it down Killian Buckley goes after it and he's pursued over there by Colm Galvin wherever Killian Buckley goes Galvin goes as well and right now it's Shana Moroy who's going and going some belt got a very good point in the first half this is kept in play by McInerney and Cahal McInerney looking for latitude goalkeeper comes out helped out this time by Joe Ling and Ling breaks away through the challenge of Cahal O'Connell O'Connell gets it back slips it inside turning neatly here is Podge Collins Collins is pursued by Kelly in towards Cahal McInerney back in there towards McGraw and Conor McGraw finds the back of the Kilkenny net in the 44th minute wonderful strike by the UL student but it's 2-12 to 2-8 and Conor McGraw found the back of the Kilkenny net once again